heroic. That's how officials are describing 21-year-old Riley Howell, who was among two people killed at the shooting at UNC Charlotte yesterday. Four others were wounded. Officials say Tristan Terrell opened fire in a classroom building on campus and is facing multiple charges. Charlotte Police Chief Kerr Putney said they're investigating the motive for Terrell's attack and hope to give the victim's families closure. So it's not just professional, it's personal. This is our city, so it's also personal. Putney confirmed Howell tackled the gunman when he opened fire in the classroom and in doing so saved many of his classmates' lives. But for his work, the assailant may not have been disarmed. Unfortunately, he gave his life in the process. All right, let's bring in our friend of the show, Dr. Jeffrey Gardier, who is a clinical psychologist in New York City. He joins me now. Dr. Gardier, welcome back to Chasing News. How are you? Hello, Bill. Of course, it's always uh, good to be with you, but certainly not under these uh, types of circumstances. Doc, first question is, what goes through the minds as it's being reported? You see the alleged killer after committing this uh, atrocity smirking at the cameras as he walks out, certainly unsettling to anyone who sees that. Yeah, it's very interesting that uh, smirking kind of look uh, that he gave uh, at that moment uh, speaks to me of a couple of things. One is uh, this is someone, as we see with many shooters, who have so much rage anger uh, and they can't control it and in this particular case even after this horrific shooting uh, still cannot get that rage uh, to abate itself to go away of course the other part of that uh, may be also uh, that this is someone who is extremely psychotic doc one of the students who was killed in this attack was riley howell 21 year old student and the chief of police in Charlotte is saying he is a hero, saying that he tackled the shooter, knocked the gun down at the time that the cops showed up, saving who knows how many fellow students. Yes, uh, this young man um, who, who stepped in there uh, was certainly uh, a hero. What he may have been thinking, of course, is not only saving other people, uh, being selfless in that way, uh, but also being uh, in a state of, uh, of shock where adrenaline is flowing. He knew it was all or nothing at that point uh, and felt perhaps that there was nothing to lose. So if he had to go down, he would go down helping other people, again, fueled by that adrenaline. Thank you, Doc. Always good to talk to you. Hopefully uh, soon we'll be talking under much better circumstances. Once again, thank you, Bill.